So imagine there would be a system which enables you to have reliable autofocus on any camera regardless if the camera has autofocus or if the lens is even possible to have autofocus. Well, there's a solution and no, it's not from DJI and it works really well. What it is and how it works, you're gonna find out in this video. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German-based cinematographer and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. Thank you. So in this video, specifically, we are talking about the PD Movie um, yeah, Smart, Air Free Smart, uh, I don't know the correct name, we'll <laughs> link it here. Um, but basically what it is, it is a LiDAR autofocus system. And for everybody that is not familiar with LiDAR autofocus, LiDAR is what DJI released, uh, I think a couple of years ago. Um, but it only worked in conjunction with their newest gimbal or um, since the latest update also with their trans transmission system. But uh, there were people begging for a standalone system that works regardless if I want to use a gimbal, so if I want to use it handheld or for anything else, that works just perfectly. But with DJI you have to use it inside their ecosystem and now there's this solution from PD Movie. I've tested that the last couple of weeks and I have to say it, it works really well. So overall what it comes with is this motor which has a sensor inside and you can see it here. Uh, we can change between five different um, lens channels if you will. So you can configure them, you have to calibrate it by using um, like a focus chart, so it's not like just throw it on and it's ready to go. No, because uh, you have to calibrate it, but it's actually pretty easy. And then you just hook it onto your camera. And here I have a really old um, lens. And now it's basically ready to go once the setup is final. So you can um, save up to five different lenses and they are all labeled with the corresponding color. So uh, whatever you choose, you can just throw on the lens and once it's already calibrated, um, it's kind of saved in there so you don't have to do it all over again. And from my testing, I used it with the uh, Helios 44, for example, um, also from my DZO Vespid Primes and all of them they just worked perfectly. I also tested it on a gimbal or on a glide cam and it works really flawlessly. So the only disadvantage is it, it doesn't have any kind of tracking feature as you have for example with a normal Sony or Canon autofocus system. So what, you just have to imagine there's like a, like a little laser and to whatever it's pointing, it's gonna focus because it measures the distance and then um, it transfers it to the lens and that's how it basically works. So in this configuration, you can't really use actually um, a matte box here because that would obstruct the view. And I found from my testing that the best possible placement is always on top because then you have the most freedom. And also when you, when you have like already pre-installed like I hear my camera rig for rods and something from uh, from the downside here um, it was not always able to rock the lens um, so it was losing the connection to the lens but yeah anything else I found it works really reliable and to all these different lenses um, works perfectly um, the only kind of advantage is also everything that's passed for meters um, it can't really see it because it's so far away. But apart from that, I think for the most situation that you're gonna encounter, this works well and that also works well regardless of the lighting situation that you have. So um, that's also another benefit um, in conjunction or in comparison to normal autofocus. The only downside I have with this motor is that it has no on and off switch. So once you, once you have plugged in the battery, 
which gives you six to eight hours of runtime. You get two of them, so should be plenty for any production. But unfortunately, there is no um, power solution here. So I can't plug in a USB-C cable from my V-mount or whatsoever. And you also get like uh, a focus wheel, so you can also use it as a wireless follow focus. Um, they, are, they have this big hand wheel, which is pretty nice or just a really smart one that you can attach to your rig. So that is pretty nice. And also for the price that you pay around $500, um, for what you get, like this LiDAR autofocus system and also the um, yeah, hand wheel, so like a normal follow focus system, I think um, the money is well spent here actually. So just as a confirmation, it works with every camera or every lens that you're gonna use, even with modern photography lenses uh, where you don't have any hard stops. You just need to install like a rubber ring here. Um, there's also one which is uh, in, inside the package, um, but I have on all my lenses are prepped, so I don't need that. Or, um, but then of course, if you don't have hard stops, you have to, um, yeah, adjust it manually, but I will link for you down below a video from PD Movie where they explain how to do it. But it's basically pretty straightforward. If you have hard stops, then the motor does it for itself. And you just have to uh, do the calibration process uh, once for a lens and then it's saved. Um, you also have uh, three different settings for uh, the speed of the motor. So slow, medium and fast. I always used slow because I found it was the most natural transition from one focus point to the other, um, but that's also up to you. Um, but yeah, I think the system works really well. If you have any further questions, you know the game, just drop them down in the comments below and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Cheers!